Welcome in everyone. Today we're diving into another first look episode on a game that I am actually really excited about called Cosmeteer. I recently got access to Cosmeteer, not really fully knowing what to expect from the game, and I was super pleasantly surprised by what I found. As a kid, I remember thinking how cool it would be to build like space battleships, and Cosmeteer gives you that opportunity. It's a mix of sandbox with a little bit of strategy, there's battles, there's role management, resource management. It's a good time, and it's got a little bit for everybody. So with that said, if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, tell me your thoughts, what you're thinking, if you're excited about the game, hit the like button, and come check us out at twitch.tv slash slay3k, where we play a variety of games. Now at first glance, I wasn't sure how much depth the game was gonna have. How was it gonna keep me locked in? And this reminds me of a game I really, really love where you could build battleships and you could test them in the water and run certain missions. So while there was a lot of sandbox freedom, there was also a ton of complexity. That was like one of my favorite games just because I got to play with my own designs. And this game allows me to do that, but with spaceships. Now, if you know me, you know I like some sandbox games. I like having a creative mode sometimes just to chill and build. Creating something and testing it out is probably one thing to get me into a game quicker than a lot of other things. You start off, you pick a basic template for your spaceship. The idea is that there are stations within each solar system that you can kind of go to, you can get jobs, quests, tasks, and then you can move out and accomplish those tasks to earn money. There's also command points, which is helpful for understanding what all your ship can handle. And finally, there's a fame system, which I believe plays a little bit of part in like what missions you can accept or take. And your money becomes really important because that is how you are going to get blueprints to upgrade your ship when you need to. Now, when you take a mission like the one I'm taking in the video, you'll see that I go into an area and I have to attack something like a pirate ship or whatever. It's kind of cool that you have visibility range, which can be adjusted based on upgrades, and you're immediately thrown into combat. You can get really, really specific with how you attack a ship. So you can look for weaknesses. You can try to disable the enemy weapon, whatever's necessary to get you through the fight. I have seen some really cool ships that have a ton of mobility that can sort of rotate, but I'm not quite there yet. There's a variety of ships you might have to face. What I started to do tactically was just aim for certain weapon systems and then look for either a command or a power station in the ship to attack, all while trying to make sure I didn't get blown up in the process. After which you can then loot the ships for equipment, ammo, all that sort of stuff that goes into keeping your ship upgraded and maintained. Keep in mind there's a repair system, so as your ship's taking damage, once you're out of a fight or you win a fight, you can then do a repair to fix your ship. You gotta keep an eye on this because if they start disabling pathways to your weapon systems, if they hit your storage system and all your storage goes in the space, you could be in some trouble. While gathering gear, it's important to note that your ship needs power. That is like the main source of how everything operates, along with having a command station that gives you the command points you need to control basically everything and it allowing to operate guns and weaponry and stuff like that all take something whether it's power or ammunition like there's cannons for example that are going to take ammunition and not just power and then depending on the scale of the weapon it may take more power than others some of your weapons if not all of them will require a person a crew member to be on that weapon to make it function and if they are constantly going back to gather power resources to keep the gun running that's gonna delay the weapon from being able to be used. So there's a lot of like interesting things that can slow you down if you're not paying attention, if you're just kind of throwing stuff on the ship, which is kind of what I do. In addition to having a power supply for the ship, you also need storage. You can only hold as much as your storage rooms can handle. That's important as you try to collect more gear to upgrade later. Now for the build mode, there's a bunch of cool options. You can do a blueprint mode, you can do mirroring so you can kind of make things symmetrical, which is awesome. The blueprint mode actually allows you to build things without certain consequences. You don't have to have all the connections set up. You can kind of blueprint it and then build it so that things don't give you errors like, hey, you're not connecting this. That's kind of a nice feature, especially when just trying to plan the build. Because once you set it up, you can then click make it so and it'll make everything happen as long as you have the supplies and resources. There's corridors, there's doors, uh, laser systems, projectile systems, propulsion systems. You have quarters for your crew members, power systems, storage systems. You can even put factories in your ship at some point so that it can produce the ammo you need. There's so much. Additionally, you have armor that you can equip on the ship, structural pieces to kind of give it an aesthetic look. 
There's so many things you can do. You can even paint the ship. And I didn't even do that. I think what's really cool too is if you're someone that enjoys the resource management and the crew management, there's options for that. You can dive in and get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty of the game, which I imagine is gonna be really significant as you continue to expand the ship's capabilities. I really love the simplicity behind being able to do a couple missions, earning some funds, hopping over to space station, checking out blueprints and finding ways of upgrading my ship. Just something about that was just perfectly rewarding for what I wanted it to be. So the payoff for doing missions was right there. And then being able to customize your ship, doing crazy things to it and testing out different ideas was a lot of fun. And of course, as soon as you're done setting it up, you gotta go fly to an enemy and see how it goes. There's also a fun balancing act between defensive systems and then having systems to attack. You can put up certain things that'll catch enemy fire. You have shields. Like there's a lot of opportunity to play with your ship build. And what I've found in playing and testing out these things is that the AI ships can get rather complex and hard to take down. They'll continuously get more armor. They'll be able to rotate, switch weapons. There's a lot of fun stuff they can do. Not to mention two ships can attack you at once. I may be focused on one ship and have another ship start hitting me in the side where I'm weakest, where I don't have enough defensive or offensive capability. There are other missions to do beyond just attacking pirate areas or pirate hell areas. You can clear asteroid fields, which may have some sort of defensive mechanisms somewhere within. And there's also delivery of certain materials. So one thing that you can do that I think I mentioned earlier was you can mine. All the asteroids around can be mined. You can put a mining laser on your ship to speed that process up. Obviously, the crew can leave the ship and go and do certain projects as well. And some of the stations may have missions around delivering certain materials to other stations. Overall, I think this creates a little bit of diversity in the whole mission system and can lead to some really fun adventures, especially going through some enemy territory. But as you can see, I really just enjoy going after the enemies. And with my ship, I've added a ton of stuff to it in just a little bit of time. We've got more quarters. We've got more storage space. We have an extra reactor, more thrusters, heavy duty weapons and front facing shields to block incoming fire. Now, like I mentioned before, there's other systems. This world that's within Cosmeteer gets pretty large. You can hyper jump to different systems that have different difficulty levels attached to them. So right now I'm in like the one to three difficulty and it goes much higher than that. What's exciting too is this game also has creative mode. So it's a little bit more freedom sandbox, build your ship without maybe as much of the complications. Then on top of that, if you notice in the menu earlier, there's multiplayer. So potentially you and a friend can go dominate space and Cosmeteer can access the Steam Workshop, giving you mods and I would imagine spaceships that you could probably pull in. That's really exciting to see, especially in early access. I think this game has a ton of opportunity. I've only scratched the surface, but I enjoy building the ship and testing things out and seeing what's dominant, not dominant, what works, what doesn't work. It's just a lot of fun. I know that I've said before that the game is kind of simple in certain regards. Like it doesn't bog you down with a bunch of decisions or anything like that to make to see like what's going to happen. You kind of get instant payoff on certain things. Like you, you do a job, you make money, then you can upgrade your ship and then you can go right out to test it again. I certainly don't want it to sound like a negative. I like this game. I like how it's set up. I do want to see more missions. I'm sure that they can add a variety of stuff to some of the stations just to keep mixing it up and keep it fun. But again, I've only looked at a few stations, so there's no telling what you could get yourself into. I just think it's a cool concept to be able to build the ship and keep upgrading it and working towards something that's really, really incredible in terms of size and capability and just seeing how far you can go. I do really want to dive into multiplayer because I think there's a fun opportunity to have ships of sort of like different classes or specializations so that you can kind of complement each other. So I think that'd be like a really interesting to explore. So I think that's gonna be my next thing is diving into multiplayer with a friend and seeing what we can do or what we're capable of. As you can see, it looks like I'm gonna lose this fight, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you had fun checking out Cosmeteer with me. If you have any suggestions or ideas or thoughts around the game, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave me a like, and come check us out at twitch.tv slash slay through case sometime, and we'll see you soon.